got this feeling inside my bones. It goes electric, baby, when I turn it on. Hi, third grade. Happy Tuesday, and welcome to another week of social studies. Um, and this week, we're going to talk about how we can make our community better. And there's going to be a couple parts to this. Today, we're going to talk a little bit about what a community is, which we've talked a lot about earlier this year, but we're going to review that a little bit. And then later in the week, we're going to talk about some really special people who made a huge difference in their community. Um, by doing small things. So right now let's think a little bit about what our community means when most of us are stuck here at home and then we'll talk about what your job today is going to be and how you're going to spread goodness and kindness and positivity around your community by doing something really small but that can eventually turn out to be really big especially if we all as third graders do this. So in addition to our homes and our schools which are definitely part of our communities, we know that our community is more than just our home or our school. Our community includes the city of Syracuse, it includes our state of New York, it includes the whole country of the United States. And so maybe the place that you can have the most impact in your community is right at home. But remember that our community is much bigger than that, um, but that everything is connected. So stuff that you do in your own family, in your own school, and um, in your own home, that has ripple effects. And if enough people are doing positive things in their homes and their schools and the people around them, those good things travel and they get bigger and bigger and bigger. And then they help out people all across Syracuse, all across our state, and all across our country and eventually all across the world. So today, let's start with something really small. Think about something that you can do to help out in your community right here at home. Because most of us are stuck inside during this time, and this is what we have the most control over. Your job today is to go to someone that lives with you. It can be a brother or sister, an aunt and uncle, grandma, grandpa, or, um, your parents and ask them what can I help out with today how can I be a better member of my community here at home and see what they say and I bet you most people will be really happy that you asked that question um, and then actually help out take a few minutes out of your day uh, when you would usually be doing something else and help another person um, that's right there in your own home and I'm actually gonna do the same thing so in a few minutes, I'm going to show you a phone call that um, I am going to make to my mom to see what she needs help with, because that's how I'm showing that I'm doing my part along with you guys. So we're all going to do this job together today. Hey, Josh. How are you? Hey, Mom. How's it going? Um, you're actually on video with my third grade classes right now. and. <laughs> I hope they can hear you with the audio. I think they'll be able to. Um, okay. But anyway, this week we're talking about how, you know, ways to make our community better. And since most of us are kind of stuck at home, um, we're talking about how the community around us is our family and talking about some ways that we might be able to help out people in our family um, with things they need. So I guess that's my question to you. Is there is there anything that I can do today to help you out and uh, help our family out to make our, our house or our family better. Well, maybe, maybe that's the reason. I love to garden, right? And I know you planted those tea plants uh, with your class as a science experiment this year, so you don't have to garden your well, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Um, I'll definitely help you weed your garden and uh, make your backyard look a little better. Like it as well, and that way you can get her a treat. She can run around and she can follow you a little bit too. 
Okay, cool. So I'll, I'll come over sometime this afternoon and help you weed, weed your garden a little bit and then brush the dog. All right, awesome. Love you, Mom. All right, bye-bye. Uh, so here's the garden bed I'm going to help my mom weed today. It's actually a really nice garden bed. It's got trees and bushes and nice plants, but there's also a lot of weeds in here. So I'm going to get to work trying to take some of those out. I got this feeling inside my bones. It goes electric wavy when I turn it on. All through my city, all through my home. We're flying up no ceiling when we Hi, end third our grade. I got that sunshine in my pocket. Got that good soul in my feet. I feel that hot blood in my body when it drops. Ooh, I can't take my eyes off of it. Moving so phenomenally. Come on, like the way we rock it. So don't stop. All right, all done. And look how much weight. I'm gonna be able to take off my mom's shoulders by just helping out a little bit. On to the next job. So I can't wait for later in the week when we talk about some really important history and people that made their communities better by doing some small things that made big changes. But today, I want to know about what you're doing, okay? So the way you're going to tell me how you help someone out today is you're going to go in Google Classroom and there'll be a little box and after you write your name, tell me the thing that you did that helped someone out today. And even better, if you have a picture of you doing something good, please send it to me in Private Class Dojo or I'll put a, um, a thing up on Google Classroom where you can submit a picture through there too. So I'm really excited to see what things you guys come up with to help other people out and how you're making your communities better today. So get out there, do some good work, spread some positivity, and I will see you here tomorrow for more social studies. Have a good day, guys.